So real quick before this video gets started, I just wanted to go ahead and honestly uh, quickly apologize for the awful intro that you guys are about to watch. Hello there. General sponsored video. This is a sponsored bedtime video. Stop it. Are you looking for a healthier alternative to popping pills with e-advantage? Then look no further. G Fuel is the epic gamer fuel you need to hit the most exquisite ACOG plus 40s. I just want to preface this video by saying that it's just a joke. I'm not actually sponsored by G Fuel for this video, or they're not individually sponsoring this video. This isn't like a jabbity advantage or anything. It's just a meme. It's just a simple joke. A simple joke tweet request from Mr. James Gaming Definition himself, because, I, well, now I am sponsored by G Fuel, yes. So, of course, the minute that I tweeted out, he requested that I do a sponsored video intro meme. So, um, there you guys go. Hopefully, I didn't make you guys cringe too much. But, yes, on a serious note, though, I do have my G Fuel code now. If you guys want to go ahead and use it, it's code RixQuay for 10% off all G Fuel purchases. I'm not going to sit here and go all professional and just like all sorts of weird stuff like that because I, I i don't know i'm not good with that stuff if you guys like g fuel if you guys want to use my code 10 percent off feel free to use it let's get it gamers so now that that's all out of the way what's going on guys it's soul rage we're back here on some call of duty 4 today and for this video this is actually going to be a more special video because as of right now or actually as of uh what was it as of this past saturday march 17th it was exactly one year since my car accident and i figured for this video it would be a uh kind of a nice start to maybe a new annual series that i was thinking of doing like maybe Maybe uh, once a year, obviously, or maybe like on some special occasions if I feel like doing one-handed videos. But primarily on March 17th of every single year, what I'm now thinking of doing is just making a one-handed video just in uh, remembrance of the whole situation. I know it's kind of bright in my room right now, and I'm not the tannest person ever. I really don't go outside too much, but as you guys can see, I have a, a lovely scar on my hand. And again, obviously, I'm going to assume that a whole lot of you already watched this video know the whole situation, but maybe a lot of my newer viewers might not know exactly what I'm on about or what the whole situation was. So I figured for this video, I would go back, change up my settings a little bit to what I used to play on with one hand while I did for the three or so months that I did and the fact that I even made a montage with this. The fact that I made a one-handed montage and hit some of my best clips is just fucked. So again though for the controls the two buttons that I have right here mouse 4 and mouse 5 I use the top one here to move forward and then I use the bottom one to sprint and since my thumb is there regardless I'm pushing down on both of those buttons at the same time I can't move from side to side I can only look around with the mouse. Obviously right click left click to aim in and fire and now the scroll wheel is where obviously now I have middle mouse down to use and I still use a lot of these same things even to this day here in combat switching and reloading I still have it on wheel up and wheel down to switch and reload weapons almost a full year later like I just I got so used to it it just feels normal to me now okay so as I was saying again though this is how I made my videos now granted I was honestly debating like practicing before I uh, went back and did this again also would like to mention that yes when C4S is dead there's now Pez bots on the server which I guess this is fine because again I was debating practicing but I was like, you know what? Nah, fuck that. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. I'm also gonna go ahead and keep my hand right here for the entire course of the video, unless I, you know, have to start a demo, which I need to. It was for very few things that I actually uh, would take my hand. Now, granted, like, since my hand was broken, I would have to, like, shift my thumb and, like, push buttons that way. Like, I would completely have to do this, because I couldn't move any of my fingers. My entire hand was shattered. And I guess it's also fine, again, that we're playing against bots right now, just because I was also debating making this video on Call of Duty 2, so I could hit some easy clips, but yeah, nah, it's fine. So again, for the new viewers, though, to go ahead and give you guys a rundown as to uh, basically what happened, like how I got in my car accident and everything. Again, it was a year ago. And basically what happened was I was driving home from a friend's house one late, very late Friday night, and it was St. Patrick's Day weekend once again. And I did something that you're never supposed to do while driving. I mean, I was traveling at highway speeds. I was going like 60 miles an hour. And basically what happened was uh, there was a deer that just decided to uh, just run out into the middle of the street, honestly. And again, I know you're not supposed to do this, like especially if you cannot react fast enough. Honestly, sorry, Bambi. You are supposed to hit the animal but just it, it was my instinct reaction i just i tried to not only uh save the animal's life but my own i didn't want to crash my car and well look where i am now i didn't want to crash my car but more importantly honestly i'm a bitch okay i did not want to kill the deer all right listen i'm very soft-hearted when it comes to animals i i love all animals i i couldn't like live with myself knowing i killed an animal like that granted looking back at the repercussions and everything would i have driven over the deer it, yeah honestly i i should have i would have god forbid if i'm ever driving and i realize that 
I like hit a bunny or I hit a turtle or something, I'd probably have a mental breakdown, honestly. So again, just considering everything, I really didn't have a whole lot of time to react. It was just like the most natural instinct thing ever just to try and swerve out of the way. And uh, basically what ended up happening is I hit a ditch on the side of the road and I flipped my car over the roof. Basically, I flipped my car going nose over onto the hood, onto the roof, and then I ended up just crashing like that. Also, on top of the fact, I was dangling upside down. I was dangling upside down and the thing that pissed me off the most was that I literally watched four cars go by. Like, I crashed right on the side of the road. I watched four fucking cars go by. That still pisses me off to this day. Usually, you would think like, oh, hey, look, a crashed car. Maybe I should pull over, make sure that they're okay, and, uh, you know, call 911 or something. Quad feed. Missed the 40 because I suck. Oh, that could have been a split six on. Again, you would probably stop, you know, like call the police and like get 911 on the scene. But now I, I watched four cars go by whilst uh, my head and just everything I'm bleeding profusely. Now, granted, at the time, though, I had no idea that my hand was completely shattered. I had no idea that I was nearly paralyzed because I fractured the four lower vertebrae in my spine. So about five or so minutes had gone by. I have a huge gash in my forehead, which I think you guys might still be able to see the scar on my forehead. My head was completely busted open as well. I'm actually the worst. And I had managed to literally kick my car door open so I could get out once I got the seatbelt undone. Which, let me tell you guys, speaking from genuine experience, seatbelts, like, really, seriously, save lives. Like, that shit's not a joke. While I was dangling upside down, that's the only thing that kept me from not only, like, flying through the windshield of my car, but, that, like, the shit kept me alive. Granted, it was the most uncomfortable thing ever to be, like, strapped down to your seat on your waist while all of your body weight is dangling over you. That shit hurts. So, again, though, thankfully, though, by the time that I got out of the car, some Somebody had actually stopped. They had already called 911. They made sure that I was okay and nobody else was in the car. I ended up laying down. Paramedics arrived on the scene. They were asking me questions. And the weirdest thing about that whole experience is that I obviously had never experienced what a true adrenaline dump is like. I genuinely thought I was having a seizure and, and that was not fun because my legs would not stop shaking. And then really from that point on for the rest of the night, it was pretty straightforward. I got an ambulance ride to the hospital. Then I was there for three, four days, had hand surgery. I ended up going home again after three, four days. And I, for the most part, felt fine. Quite possibly the most painful experience out of that entire thing was uh, the first night, as a matter of fact, when I got home from the hospital and like sleeping without my back brace on, it, it genuinely felt like I was getting stabbed in the back. Like that shit hurts so bad. The whole experience in and of itself, like if there's anything that I'm extremely grateful for, like not only the fact that I'm still alive, but uh, also the fact that I've been able to take the situation honestly as such a joke. Basically being able to make jokes about the situation, like it's not like I'm sitting here joking about the fact that, or like joking with uh, Dodge death and everything. It's just being able to make light out of the situation, being able to just uh, make memes out of it. Because Marshall, oh god, this mother- I'm so sad he deactivated this Twitter, but to my initial tweet of saying, hey guys, I'm not gonna be around for a while, this man responded to the tweet saying, hit Marshall. And I think the funniest thing about it is that it had like 50 retweets and a couple hundred likes and so many people were so mad at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And the thing is, a lot of people don't really know Marshall the way that uh, like I know Marshall or like a lot of his close friends know him. And honestly, the first time that I read that, I laughed so fucking hard in the hospital bed. I also had a collapsed lung, may I remind you. I'll also go ahead and show me a picture of the hospital. A picture of me in the hospital. So I had the collapsed lung. I had the tube in my chest. I started laughing so hard hard that I almost killed myself again by uh, filling that tube entirely with blood because again I was laughing so hard. It's such a fucked up joke but I got it and I just knew it was Marshall like I, I couldn't be pissed at that it was so funny. And honestly though the whole situation in and of itself like by the time I got home and started making YouTube videos again like things on that front actually turned out to be really well because like a whole lot of people really loved the fact that I was making one handed videos. And honestly I really enjoyed making it too and then on top of that making the montage like everything went over so well all the incredible support from you guys was just, again, incredible. Genuinely, over the three-month course of my recovery, it was the most heartwarming thing from you guys, and I really just could not thank you all enough. And still, to this day, I can't thank you all enough. And also, again, I know it seems like I'm making a joke out of the whole situation. Like, Mike, it's actually very serious. Like, like you're really grateful to be alive. Like, you should be thankful. And trust me, I am. I know we all joke a lot about how, uh, oh my god, I want to die sometimes, like, if something, you know, just uh, slightly unfortunate happens. But I realize the whole situation just as a whole in and of itself, like, yeah, I almost lost my life out of the blue. The whole experience, again, in and of itself, was extremely eye-opening, and it was just, it, it's fucking crazy, honestly. Like, the more that I look back on it, like, the more I think about it, it's its nuts. But again, though, like I was just saying a little bit ago, I know it might uh, sound weird, like I, again, might be just taking this whole situation as a joke, I'm not taking it seriously enough, but as messed up as it may sound, the whole, like, dark humor of the situation, just being able to make light out of it, honestly helped me. Again, I know it's really weird to think about it when people are tweeting, you know, like, hit markered at me and making awful Call of Duty COD 4 explosion jokes at me, you know, like, people would be 
like, why the fuck are you laughing at this? It's just like, no, actually, it's it's pretty funny to me. I mean, for fuck's sake, Kerpai came up with the name Car Crash Michael, and I recently hit a Black Ops 2 clip with that name. <laughs> like, just, it, it's it's weird for me, okay? Again, the whole dark humor of the situation, like, really did help uh, lift my spirits. It just made me feel a little bit better about the whole situation, while still, at the same time, valuing just uh, the gift of life, honestly, because life is too short, guys. Life is way too precious. Seriously, each time you get in the car, or, like, if you're talking to somebody that you care about that's about to drive, like, you know, obviously, don't text while driving, and no, before anybody asks, I wasn't texting while I was driving. Without trying to make this extremely sappy or cheesy, just uh, don't take life for granted. Always tell the ones that you love and care, that you do love and care so much about them. Again, life is extremely precious, and it can be taken away in a literal split second. Lol, did Rick's Quay break his hand again? Just doing it for a video. Now, obviously, I wasn't able to type with my other hand, but uh, that would be tough luck. Anomaly, you have no idea. Especially if I broke the exact same hand again, which actually, fun fact, I've broken my ring finger on this hand too. You guys ever just open up a window and the entire frame just comes crashing down on your hand? Yeah. Our UAV is on mine. The one-handed flicks, I'm insane. I'm actually gaming out here, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god, why didn't I hold my breath? Bruh, no! 20 kill streak. what is wrong with me? They still gotta be spawning back here. Let me just drop a nuke. Aww. I can kind of click foreheads. A little bit. No! I was trying to like scroll wheel up so I can cancel the weapon switch. No. Please, one more. No, there's only one bot on their team. Okay, so I'm actually dookieing on these dudes right now. Get off me. Going in for the bog trap. Let's see if I can earn my TB test keys back. I actually just hit mark to 60. I'm really irritated right now. Man's out here just trying to get his besieged motorcycle keys back real quick. I still joke about that, but I actually did hit a one-handed Barrett 6 on 70 at the bog trap, and I got a pair of Team Besiege motorcycle test keys for 30 minutes. That still, to this day, is one of my more preposterous boasts in Call of Duty. I mean, granted, I never really returned them, I don't think, so... Eh, fuck you, fa ha 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 nice. Nice typing, gamer. Yeah, he's actually got that bound. Look at this dude. I would just like to flex for the record 105 kills to 21 deaths with a single hand. People also used to make a ton of jokes saying like, Mike, I seriously think you should just start playing with one hand more consistently. And honestly, I think I should. So on that note, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up now. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If in the near future you guys want me to do some more uh, special occasion one-handed videos, go ahead and let me know that down in the comment section below. Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Soul Rage. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.